Hello. Thank you for watching another episode at Investing with All I See is W. Today, I wanted to make this video to share with you my insights on Sorrento Therapeutics and why I feel bullish on this company. So this company goes by the ticker SRNE and they're one of the companies that's part of the Operation Warp Speed. Now what's so unique about this company is the fact that it has developed certain products that can be used to support the COVID-19 pandemic. So for example, with getting people tested to really identify whether you're infected as positive or negative with the COVID-19, there are tests that that this company has created in San Diego where it's really changing the game for how other companies are competing in this COVID-19 race. Now, what's amazing about the test kits that this company has made is that it only takes a cycle time of 30 minutes for someone to just, you know, spit their saliva in there and look for some visual observation of difference. It takes about 30 minutes. So think about how that could be rolled out to like schools, sports events, entertainment events. I feel like that may change how people can get tested. And that's so significant to just the United States because I think for the economy to, to go back to normal speed, companies like Sorrento Therapeutics can play a big role in this. And for that reason, you know, they're also trying to get an er emergency use authorization named as EUA with the FDA. And anytime when a company files for EUA, that's when the FDA has to look to see whether the product you're trying to file for emergency use authorization has a clinical significance as opposed to not having the product out there. And that's why it's called emergency use. All right, so it all depends. And what I know is Sorrento Therapeutics also has another product where they've developed a dummy ACE2 variable. And what we know is in our lungs, we actually have ACE2 variables in our lungs. And anytime when we breathe in the, the virus, it can bind. It's like the key that binds to the locking mechanism, which is your ACE2 variable. Well, with Sorrento Therapeutics, their product differentiation, they've created dummy ACE2 variables for the keys to bind on to the locking me mechanism. So that's just amazing. And just hearing that the company is trying to work on an EUA submission, then I feel like that's just going to be a potential because from one of my first videos on Sorrento Therapeutics, I've noted that there's an ex-FDA employee who's worked at the FDA for 10 years in the monoclonal antibody space. So for that reason, I know that Sorrento knows what they're doing. And for that reason, this share price will likely go up. But I don't want to focus too much on my story now, but I wanted to go into the technicals and visuals for you to see, okay? Uh, let's get started. So currently the share price is hovering at $13. Today, the share price went up close to 5%. In the aftermarket, it went up an additional 1.46%, ending at $13.20. Now looking at the 52-week high, this company actually shot up cl close to $20. It, it did shoot up to $20, but at the end of the day, it went up to $19 with the 52-week low of $1.39. So as you can see here, the price was hovering at $14 today, but let's look at a one month chart. Price hovered up to a resistance value of $18.82 and it's taking a drop the last two days and now it's picking back up from $12 to $13. Let's look at a one year range. So as you can see, in July, the share price was $8. In August, early August, you see the price at close to $14. And just recently, it shot up to $18 and now back to the $13. Let's look to see what the financial analysts are saying. So based on two financial analysts on Webull, they are recommending Sorrento Therapeutics as a buy. So that's good information here. And let's look at the price targets. Current price is set at $13 with a share price of $25 and a high estimate of $30. Wow. So... There's a lot of people who are bullish on this company right now and the fact that this company has created a product differentiation where it has a competitive advantage compared to other companies, this is going to be reflected in their share price in my opinion, okay? And if you're a day trader, you know, you may look to see whether, you know, the the price can drop, but I feel like if you're you're thinking about long-term investing, 
up through 2021, then this is a great time to, to capitalize on the, the share price, all right, given what we see here on the screen. All right, so now I wanted to go over to the technicals here, okay, and just looking at Yahoo Finance data. All right, so as you can see, a big sell-off on uh, August 11th and August 12th, but it's it's been trending upward now, and I've also added a five-year no, sorry, a five-day moving average with the purple line representing a 20-year moving average. And one key thing I wanted to note is any time when there's a crossover between the moving average, you, you want to uh, pay close attention to that because that may give you insight on the trend for how the actual price may be going. Okay, but from what we know, we can't always depend on looking at historical data. For example, looking at the rear view mirror and making determinations, we always have to use market sentiment and seeing where the, the likely forecast is going. All right, so that's that's what's key. Now, based on what we see here on the trends, uh, we still don't see the five-day crossing the 20-day moving average. Anytime when you see the five-day moving average crossing the 20-day moving average, there may be indication of the share price uh, going down. But at this time, I still see that this company may continue its bullish run. And currently, the RSI right now is hovering at the uh, the mid 50s. Look at when when the company shot up to like close to twenty dollars. RSI was close to ninety. So anytime when a company has a RSI of ninety, there's a correlation for it to start having a lower RSI value. And we do see the RSI going from ninety to down to the low fifties. Okay, but that right now with the RSI being at the 50s, we can't really assess to see whether it's going up or down based on that indicator. But now, based on market sentiment and news data, I feel like this company can go up beyond to its high share price, $30 and beyond. All right, so that's the information I wanted to share with you, and I hope that you can take away this information and absorb it and learn how you can apply it to your strategy for Sorrento Therapeutics, whether you're a day trader, a mid swinger or if you're a long-term investor all right well i hope that you found this video valuable and if you do please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the like i appreciate you supporting my channel and without you as an audience i would not be here today to share my insights and i hope that my intentions are to not only win for myself but i also want everyone else to win and let's uh let's make a happy living all right Thank you for watching another episode of Investing with All I See is W.